Hey guys, welcome back to History with Mrs. Lee. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Horace Mann, the man in education who brought you free public education. Did you like that little plug there, guys? All right, today we're looking at westward expansion and manifest destiny. Manifest destiny was the idea that Americans had a God-given right to move west, to expand their borders from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Now let's go back in time and start with the beginning of America. And that starts out here in part A. This would be the 13 colonies which were originally established by Great Britain. Remember that our first successful colony was the colony of Jamestown in 1607 in Virginia. Now colonists declared their independence on July 4th, 1776. However, they were not legally allowed to cross the Appalachian Mountains until we get part B the Treaty of Paris, which was signed in 1783. With the Treaty of Paris, this is the paper that the Americans had officially won the revolution and gained their independence. But other than independence, they had also gained land west of the Appalachian Mountains, and the new western boundary was the Mississippi River. Also, this northern part, this territory, Northwest Territory, would be governed by what was called the Northwest Ordinance. This was the one big strength of the Articles of Confederation. And this was the orderly process for territories to become states. And our magic number was 60,000. All right, now moving on west, we have Part C, the Louisiana Purchase. We make this purchase in 1803 from France. We give them $15 million. This is going to double the size of the United States. And originally, we only wanted the territory for the Port of New Orleans. And then um, French leader Napoleon, he decides to go ahead and offer us all of this land because he needed funding for his war against the British. So we go ahead and take that. Next up, we have Part D. Originally, this land, which is known as Florida, was taken by Andrew Jackson. He just went into Florida and took it away. But because John Quincy Adams was the Secretary of State at the time, he felt that it might be a little problematic to just take lands away from Spain. It may possibly cause a war. He decides to purchase this part, uh, Florida, from Spain in 1819 for five million dollars. And this is also known as the adams onis Treaty. All right, now headed back west, we get Texas in 1845 with annexation, and we acquired Texas through their request for statehood, and they become the 28th state in the Union. However, Texas's annexation is going to cause lots of problems with our southern neighbor, Mexico, and we'll come back to that in just a second. In 1846, we gain the territory of Oregon. This was originally owned by multiple countries, including Russia and Britain, but we gain it through negotiation with Britain. Now, if you ever see the Oregon Territory on a map, you need to remember that this is going to be America finally reaching the Pacific and finally achieving manifest destiny of reaching from Atlantic to Pacific. All right, now back to Mexico. We were very interested in this land right here. And so President Polk, Mr. Manifest Destiny, he offered money to Mexico. However, they were not willing to make a deal. And we also had problems because America said that the southern border of the United States was the Rio Grande, and Mexico said that it was actually the Nueces River. So we have a boundary dispute. We go to war with Mexico, and we end up winning the war. We pay $15 million to Mexico, even though we won this land, in the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, and this is known as the Mexican Cession. So we gain all this land, including California. Finally, we have H, the Gadsden Purchase, which we make in 1853. We pay $10 million to Mexico for this teeny tiny piece of land, which is now part of Arizona. And we thought that we were going to be able to use it to build a railroad through the mountains. And looking at information, it turns out that we actually decided to abandon that idea and not build railroads right here. So great purchase. I'm not sure, but if we didn't have it, we wouldn't have parts of Arizona today.